so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Of course, the princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. Now, that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. <laughs> ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come up, on, oh boy. If you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message. It becomes a member of the royal family to wear only the most fashionable items, if one cares about such things. The staff. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. Princess. A princess. Trust you well, madam. My lady. How are you this fine day, madam? Ah, oh, my princess. Well, well, well. How good to see Look you, who madam. We have here. It is an honor as always. Ah. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm not letting you ruin my mood, eh? What's going on here? You're not very nice, are you? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, nice. Good, even. <laughs> that ain't bad at all. Ha! Ah, the princess. <laughs> Madam. Wow, yeah! Stop breathing, start walking. Animal! Oh. Hello? Woohoo, yeah! Always pleased to serve you. Well met, my lady. Greetings, Mom. 
Greetings, madam. Hello, princess. Greetings. How do you do? Good day. Oh, how are you, my princess? Good day, your highness. I hope you're well. My lady. Oh, fierce warrior! Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. Ah, oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. How's that? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure how effective that will be in a real combat situation. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother, but more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand and escort you to the castle? Everyone's. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much, and he looks so tired all the time. Ah, my lady. <sighs> Oh, I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. <sighs> Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honour to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. You're ready. You've all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumours you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? 
We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, Your Majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. I was nowhere near that car accident. I have a very bad feeling about today. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my princess. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. The execution. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. Grab a sword. Fight! Good, good! Wow, nice strike. Do you remember the stories i tell you when you were a child? Of your mother, the great hero queen. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. What are you afraid of? Hit me. Come on, is that all you've got? You can do better than that. Concentrate. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> But listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What happened? Outside the castle, it looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep out being free! We want... It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. You can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh. <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! What do you do? I'm going. What? Uh. Leave him alone. I'm all right. I'm all right. 
happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking! Here come the savior of the people. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Are you listening to me? Pick me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please. <laughs> this can't be happening. It can't be. <laughs> No, it should be me. Don't do this. It should be me. The boy lives. Kill the rest now. Please. Move! No. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. You must blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your mother's daughter. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, madam. I shall follow you wherever fate may take. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. What about Elliot? I can't leave him here. Don't worry. He's safe. And he can take care of himself. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your mother died, I promised her I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. your mother's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. seer of the spire. I guided your mother in her greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. 
This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Turn here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> supposed to do that even if I am a hero I'm just one person exactly that is why we need to find allies and lots of them once you prove what you are people will follow you and many of them will be willing to fight but they need a leader someone to believe in Albion needs nothing less than a revolution This is your chance to show us what you've got.
What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your mother's sanctuary. She used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dote. The old queen must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mistpeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily. But they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there. Just like that. It worked! Oh. I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a princess. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less regal. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. I can't You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Dice. Now, wish me good luck. I feel so weak. When will this ordeal end? I can't hold this anymore! Sabine, better sort this out or we'll all be gone as soon. I'd go up to the castle right now and kill Logan if I had the strength.
you think Sabine's got a plan to get us out of if this mess? If I ever mess? get hold of that Logan, I'll wring his neck. Are you here to buy something? Really? <sighs> Still open, everybody? Oh, good. Good. Thank you. Hello, madam. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is this is this how you use it? Uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. What an extraordinary device. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through and I'll show you. I'll follow you into the dressing room, shall I? I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you're properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. I've got to eat something soon. Why? Why would the king want to make us suffer like this? My dear Mrs. Tiddins, you're a way-faced old toad and no mistake. Oh. And your son looks like a fish, which I've pointed out to him. Yours sincerely, Arthur. Is this all there is? Never sort this out, or will all... That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine. Explained everything, and he's, well, I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. now and kill low. Ooh. Out of the way, boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A princess, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, princess. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them and is stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There is a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall built by your own mother. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your mother built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy. 
Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guilt seal. You know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information.
I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would term them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small-town pleasures. Outrageous! We don't beat you. So, we're here then. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. Sweet <coughs> compliance. I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a customer. since the old hero queen last came here. Uh, the, you are... The princess. Yes. Oh, my. Uh, please, come this way. Your mother told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was she who founded the academy, of course. I have often wondered how she would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. 
You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your mother left for you. This way. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Samuel and Sir Walter will be waiting for you. Ah, yes, the blitz switch. Now, the way you activate... If you're not too busy, you might have a look at the sanctuary shop. I believe something new has been added.